Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, God damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. No, no. Three. Two. One. No. Ascension. Ascension. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, welcome to Bioshock The Collection, my favorite franchise, redone in 1080p, up to 60 frames per second, all the games, one package. Today, taking a look at Bioshock Infinite, the third and most recent game in the franchise. We've entered Columbia, the domain of Zachary Comstock, and where the adventures of Booker, Elizabeth, and this weird world will all take place. Uh, there are looks at Bioshock 1 and 2 already, as well as extended versions uh, of these videos on my channel. Um, this entire collection just makes me super, super happy. They include all the single-player DLC, uh, and it's a beautiful package. Seeing Bioshock 1 and Rapture all redone for modern uh, consoles is, is crazy. And this game in some ways is my favorite. The story here, the mystery, it has such an awesome finish. You have to see this one through, no matter who you are. Uh, and you can do that for yourself when the game comes out. Uh, the collection on September 13th in North America and September 16th internationally. Floating city in the sky from the, uh, the sea beneath to the sky above. Interesting transition. Uh, for Irrational and the, the teams behind Bioshock. Um, I'm actually playing the game right now at 2K. They were kind enough to fly me up here, not via one of these uh, super cool blimps, but via an airplane <laughs> to check out the game. And it's a super awesome honor for me because, like I said, this is my favorite video game franchise of all time. And so to be able to play them uh, in full-on gorgeous glory is just awesome. So we are going to check out some of the combat, see some of the vigors, and give you a little taste of what Infinite has to offer. So here we go with combat, beginning with a different weapon, the Skyhook here, which will eventually lead us uh, into the skies as we transport around uh, these incredible uh, vistas of Columbia and execute our enemies here <laughs> quite brutally. Uh, Infinite gives you vigors instead of plasmids, but they still have. Oh my goodness gracious! Did not remember that part. I played all these games, but it's good to be back, and in some ways, it's really, really weird to be back. They have a creep factor to them. Uh, that adds to the charm in the weirdest of ways, but we'll take all of these uh, guards and cops out and proceed closer and closer to Monument Island where our target Elizabeth lies. Now there's some notable improvements here in Infinite combat wise. You've got a run button, a dedicated run button now. Uh, you also have uh, more uh, finely tuned shooting mechanics, as you'll see in a second here. We can possess this guy. Drop some coin on the ground, thank you. Audio logs are back in the form of voxophones, vending machines. It retains all of the Bioshock uh, spirit, but redone 
in a super interesting Columbia 1900s uh, style with a whole lot of Americana and a whole lot of religious overtones. This guy here is a turret that normally would not like us, but we can possess him. Our first Vigor to do the work for us. You've got Salt this time instead of Adam. And uh, we'll enter the fray. Uh, one of the coolest things about Infinite, uh, whereas Bioshock 1 and 2 use many of the same plasmids, uh, Infinite has an entirely new uh, set of powers. So Vigor is a different name, but there's also totally different functionality. My favorite being uh, Bucking Bronco of Vigor that ruptures the earth beneath your feet, almost like your own personal earthquake. And then uh, Undertow, which is a later game uh, Vigor that basically uses <laughs> the sea as a tentacle uh, to knock your foes off ledges uh, or push them back from you. Shoot our way through. The game is a gorgeous game. Uh, it was at the top of the totem pole for graphics uh, back in the day when it came out, 2013, for Xbox 360 and uh, PS3. And it still looks great now. Like, it, it definitely uh, has that great mix of, of good, strong visuals and stellar art and aesthetic. It's, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. Still grabbing health kits. I love the audio in these games. They're always, always strong. Um, and it, it's cool to hear some of the underwater rapture sounds in a different location. Again, it's got the feel of Bioshock, but in a whole new world, uh, which is what I really love. Explorable stores can load up on veggies, because normally we eat hot dogs and cake and candy bars. Not the healthiest man, this Booker DeWitt. We'll continue through the streets of Columbia. Grab some salts, grab some health. It's getting hot. What's going on? Oh, baby. A burning man of mechanical rage. And he goes down. Not the kind of fireman I'm familiar with, but we will get our second Vigor Devil's Kiss here after replenishing our stocks. Kiss. Well, you only live once. Gosh, that's brutal. Although I feel like the, the Colombians have it a bit easier. They just have to drink the Vigors as opposed to injecting themselves. Alright, the street's on fire. That wasn't no sample. And we can swap back and forth, throwing fireballs at whoever comes our way. We can even make it uh, a nice fireworks show here, which I really appreciate and always found fun. Now let's swap the possession, take that over, and you'll begin to see the dynamic nature uh, that is the Bioshock combat. Um, and then combining that with really cool, intense, and, and well-written plot and characters is kind of what distinguishes and separates these games from the pack for me. We get a lot of really top-tier titles these days, but I think even in 2016, the Bioshock trilogy holds up and excels in a way that, that many games just can't seem to compete with. Um, and that's why I'm extra happy to have a chance to play them all. we got to run away. This guy is going to shoot us in the back. And this little Piggly Wiggly uh, is not going to protect us very well at all. Excuse me, sir. Please stop your shooting. Can I come in? Jumping forward a little bit. Get to show off the sky hook and some of the aerial exploration that's included here. You can attach on and traverse. Uh, eventually, we'll get to ride the more roundabout uh, skylines. But we can do skyline strikes, which is an absolutely incredible assassination move there. And it leaves them shocked and awed and not waking up. Uh, we've got machine guns here adding to our arsenal. And the weaponry has a style uh, that very much fits the time period, fits the city. And then augmenting that with something like Devil's Kiss uh, it is a pretty cool sight to behold. Right, we've got a lot of uh, very angry individuals here urging us to use all of our 
equipment and our shield uh, early and often. Let's see if we can get... Whoa, hello. Let's see if we can get sky high soon enough here. Because it's pretty fun to fight uh, while you're floating above the ground. We're already floating, so it's like a floating inception. Boom. Sometimes you don't want to possess the turrets. You just want to take them out. We can do that. And uh, another level and layer of dudes. As you can see, like the shooting has been refined to be much more uh, shooter-esque. And we're quite able to really uh, wreck these guys. All right. Hooking back on. Dropping down. And away we go. The line forward just a little bit more. We're now inside a very strange society of crow-obsessed creeps. Looking for their leader. And I believe he's right through these double doors. Ugh. It's not a good way to go. We're going to try to prevent that from happening to ourselves. Such a beautiful, yet brutal place. Alright, we can create an explosive trap, so we'll do this. A, a secondary use for the Vigors. Uh, kind of a cool tweak on the traditional power formula, and that will burn the crazy crow leader. And we say goodnight to him quite quickly. And acquire already our third power-up. Press to summon murderous crows. Hold and release to create a nest trap. With that, the crows now obey our command and will carry us forth against this next encounter. Not a fun way to die being pecked to death by a very dirty bird. Bees in Rapture, crows in Columbia. That's for the foes you really don't like at all. But hopefully you guys like the look of Bioshock Infinite. Also got looks at Bioshock 1 and 2, as well as an extended version of the videos on my channel. Definitely check those out, and make sure to check out Bioshock, the collection, on September the 13th in North America, September 16th internationally. Thanks so much for watching, guys and girls. Hope you're in a fantastic day and enjoying yourselves. Until next time, drink some hot chocolate, watch out for those crows, and we will see you all later.